so next, <laughs> next is another very low tech thing you can do with really little kids, and they can even eat this if they want. I'm not advocating them eating it, but everything we do is safe. And I can, remember making I these think, yeah. out. I think my aunt used to do this stuff. The best part of this is that it smells awesome. Yeah, it really? smells like this is I cherry play doh. That. Oh, that does you smell really good. You can even still smell it when it dries. Yeah. I would eat that. Love that. Yeah, yeah. You, what if, like, I were a five-year-old? Yeah. You're that kid in class. That kid, yeah. awesome. I'm the kid in class that ate the glue, too, aren't Well, you? and all the ingredients like, are basically what you put in cookies or cake. So, um, yeah. But this is very, very easy to make and so much fun for little kids. And then they can, once they've made their Play-Doh, they can dry it. They can use cookie cutters and they can make little ornaments or you can make little yeah, I used gift toppers. What my aunt used to do is she'd make the ornaments. She did like a whole tree with this stuff yeah. one year. Yeah. It didn't smell like cherries. But again, but this, cool. this is science. I mean, that's, this is what the scientists at, you know, Crayola or Play-Doh or all these places, they sit around and think up like, what can I do to make this, you know, mm -hmm. a cooler product? Yeah. And that they are literally scientists. They figure out what goes in it, what ingredients will keep it freshest, you know, how to make it smell good, all science. People don't think about this stuff, but it's important to get kids thinking about this at the earliest age. What is in things? What is Play-Doh, right? What makes yeah. things, yeah. So we're gonna make this really quick. We're gonna put a third a cup of flour okay. in the bowl, please. Just dump it. Oh, in the bowl. In the bowl. It's like, like it's already in the dark. Go ahead. I'm just going to quickly put it in the bowl. <laughs> and um, you and I are both staring like osmosis is going to do it. Yeah, osmosis. We're gonna do, you're even using the words. So See, you're going to have an impact on it. I'm going to put three tablespoons of water in there. Three of this. Three, three of these. these. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to put two, one, tea, that's one. two teaspoons two, two. of oil. Yes, ma'am. Two teaspoons of oil, please. Okay. Watch yourself. You know, they say water and oil does not mix, though. Well, they, they, it does. <laughs> that, is, that is excellent. What a good observation. What a well, good observation. You're such a scientist. You're such a scientist. I love it. Because they that's only very mix, generous of you. It's kind of like common knowledge. They, but. they only mix when you kind of stir them together and they form an emulsion. That's very true. But they will eventually separate out again, which is why Plato's a little bit See, that's why she's good at this, because she takes it a step further of what yeah. it actually okay, is doing. Put one tablespoon of salt in there, please. And that is um, mostly just to keep it fresh. And then to make it smell awesome and to have it have a little bit of color, you're going to add either some unsweetened Jello or some unsweetened Kool-Aid. Just a, oh, just a packet. That smells good. Throw it in there. Oh wait, that's that. That's these. That's okay, it. I thought we were onto something. I didn't know. Uh, like, no, what is she making? Hey, and then it's stay like, with oh, this, buddy. Sorry. Stay and with basically, sorry. Eat, uh, that drink? make sure you stir this with a spoon and not your hands, because the the, um, the the food coloring and the Jello will yeah, stay. will stay in your hands. Oh. Eventually, it, it won't. But when you're first mixing it in, anyway. Gotcha. So this is what you got. And then, Fun and squishy. Yeah, oh, it's awesome, and it's the it's the greatest texture ever. It really is just soft and awesome. Roll it out, use your little cookie cutters, and get as creative as town. you want. And when it dries, you can also use a like a um, a sharpie to decorate it to and do what write you people's want. names on it. It's a cute little gift. Very too. cool. All right, no and so.